Any year is entered through the keyboard by the user. Write a function to determine whether the year entered by the user is a leap year or not. So we already know the logic. I'll explain you once again while writing the code. So let's get started directly. I'll take an integer variable year. I'll ask the user to enter the year to check if that entered year is a leap year or not. So I'll store that user entered year inside the address of integer variable year. Let me write the prototype first for our user defined function. Return type is bool, that is boolean, true or false value. Uh, function name is leap. It takes an integer as argument. For boolean, we need to include a header file stdbool.h. Okay, so this is function prototype. Function name is leap. Let me copy it and paste it here. I'll write the logic first. I'll take a variable int year. So this variable year is local to this function leap. If the year is century year, that is year ending with 00. zero. And if that year is perfectly divisible by 400, then it's a leap year. I'll return true. If it's not perfectly divisible by 400, then it's not a leap year. So I'll return false. Okay. Next, if it's not a century year, then it must be perfectly divisible by 4. That is year modulo division 4 is equal to 0. In that case, it's a leap year. So I'll return true. If it's not perfectly divisible by 4, then it's not a leap year. So I'll return false. So this is the logic for finding leap year or not. So this is the logic. So inside main, I'll call the leap method. So if leap, I'll pass the year. So it will return Boolean value that is true or false. In case it's true, then the uh, year entered by the user is leap year. If the method that is if the function user defined function leap returns false, then the user entered year is not a leap year. That's it. This is the logic. So leap is our user defined function. It takes a integer type value as argument. It returns Boolean type value that is true or false. Let me run the program. I'll give 2020, which is a leap year. I'll give 2021, which is not a leap year. And it's working. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.